Four members of the first all-women team from Africa are set to climb Mount Everest in 2020. Well, as part of their preparations, they are attempting to complete the South African Nine Peaks Challenge. That involves the ascent of the highest peaks in each of our nine provinces. Well, to tell us more about this, we are joined by two mountaineers, part of that four women team, Dumi Patele and Alda Wadl. Alda and Dumi, good morning and welcome. Good morning and yeah. thank you for having us. When are you actually starting this Nine Peaks Challenge? Just start the Dumi, when are you guys doing it? We are starting on the 22nd of August uh, and that will be Women's Month. Mm -hmm. So we are hoping that uh, throughout the month uh, we'll have a story to share, we'll have people that, that will share in the journey, mostly to, to celebrate uh, the strength of women, to, to celebrate the courage. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and so we're hoping that uh, many more women will, will, will actually be uh, keen to actually follow in what they actually think of their own mountains. Yeah, I'm in awe of people like yourselves, Alda and stuff who do this thing. Are you excited ahead of this nine picture? Yes, very excited. It's going to be tough. Um, Sarah's done it, um, and uh, Zulu um, has done it as well. Um, so uh, we're the first two pair ladies to kind of start and compete it on the 22nd. We're hoping for four days. We want to go as fast but without injuries because we've got quite a bit of training to do. You mentioned four days. I mean, I read in a press release preparing for this that the fastest time by a mixed pair, this is a women-only kind of, of, of attempt. Now, is yes. it the first women-only attempt no. with nine peaks? No? no, there has been a previous It attempt, has been done before. But not completed. Not completed. Without but, injuries. Yeah, but there's this couple in 2018, Jagens and Crystal Hanekom, who did it in four days, 18 hours and 45 minutes. Are you hoping you're going to beat that? Um, well, we are hoping to actually do well, uh, but we thought 14, uh, four, four days is, is, is a nice challenge. So it's achievable. We, it, it is achievable, but um, yeah, but they are a mixed pair. Which, which of these peaks is the highest? Mafadi. 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 Yeah. Mafadi is the highest peak in South Africa in the Drunkensberg yes. in Guazulu. 3,451 meters. Yes. Okay, but I mean, compared to Mount Everest, it's nothing. No, it's halfway. But it's a good preparation. Yeah, yeah. it is a good preparation. Look, the, the mountain is, is hard. We are talking about about 12 hours to actually get to the top of that mountain. It's, it's very cold. If you recall, we will be climbing in, in August. It will still be cold. But uh, the, other, the, the other challenge is that we will be climbing at night, most probably. So it is a is it question of... Is dangerous to climb at night? Well, if you are trying to climb all of the nine peaks in a few okay, days, yeah. you, have to, you have no option. You, but you have to maximize the time that you've got. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In, in a press release uh, uh, about, about you guys, uh, Alda, you said uh, that uh, it's this, this preparation is forcing you and Tumi to be super fit yes. and, and, and focused. What are you doing to be super fit? So we all have different training methods. Um, to me as an endurance athlete, I can't do what she does. But I do every morning steps. I try to do anything from 1,005 to 2,000 steps with a backpack and then sit up pull-ups because your, your body needs to be, legs and arms need to be fit. Um, and then uh, just long walks. And, and you do it, your endurance program, is it, uh, what is it? Um, it's, a, it's a fairly consistent program uh, I run, I cycle. Um, but uh, a few weeks ago, I completed my eighth Comrades Marathon. So uh, Sorry, through that, you completed what? My eighth Comrades Marathon. So uh, I think you're uh, officially crazy. A week ago. <laughs> I mean, how I've come as a Comrades Marathon <laughs> when you see people who have a finishing lunch and, and you're climbing mountains. Anyway, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm participating in a number of trail runs. Uh, two weeks ago, I did uh, Kruger to Canyon. So that, that keeps me focused, that keeps me going. Mm -hmm. Because with with the uh, what I would call in, intermediate challenges, you actually stay on course. Okay, but um, is this between your normal jobs? I'm just trying to. Do, you've got a normal job. You're yes. Doing, yes. What is your normal job? I'm an entrepreneur. I run two renewable energy companies. So in um, between all yes. of this, you're doing the other stuff. Yeah. Yes. Where do you get the time? It's very limited. What drives you? And um, the drive to to get to the mountains, I, I, I love mountains, they are majestic, they are beautiful, uh, they are humbling in, in many ways, but, but even more, more rewarding in, in, in many ways. So it's, it's a challenge, uh, but it is a beautiful challenge. So it is a privilege really for, for, for some of us to experience mountains like we do. But in preparation of that, we have to stay fit. 
and and that's what keeps us going with the training throughout. And Anna, what do you do? I work, job? I work in the automotive industry okay. um, for OEM, and uh, I'm working on big projects and rollouts. So yeah, it's full time. So you got you got your motor cars to keep you busy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then you thought, no, let me also tackle some mountains. That's some mountains. Okay. Yeah, and, and 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 twins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you ever get ready? I mean, any of you can answer. Do you ever, as a point, where you say, "Yeah, I'm ready for Everest now"? I've asked that question to my personal trainer because obviously having a big challenge on like like nine peaks, you want to make sure that you're ultimately ready. And he says six weeks if you really dedicate it. But then it depends on how much you put in. Yeah. Okay. And final final word from you to me. Uh, 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 you said you're you're using this nine peaks to create in terms of awareness for your plans mm -hmm. for the 2020 Everest. Have you got enough support, you guys? Yes. You've got two other women. Deshan Deza. Deshan. She was on that mountain way back in 1996. Yes, yeah. That's when I first interviewed her. And the other lady, Lisa Gering. Yes. Lisa Gering. Yeah. Yes. Uh, are you guys getting enough support that you need? Yes, we are. We are getting enough support. But what we are also looking for is support in terms of uh, funding. We have a crowdfunding platform that we've set up on GoFundMe. It's GoFundMe forward slash Everest 2020 SA. Oh, but uh, people can also uh, get to our website, um, to, our, to our Facebook site. Uh, it's also Everest uh, SA 2020 and then also Twitter. Okay, well, good luck. All the best. Nice meeting you. I mean, all of you, although I think you're crazy, <laughs> will keep track of your 9 peak challenge. Plus, all the best for next year's uh, 2020 Everest. Pass my regards to Deshaun. I will. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's uh, Dumim Pahele and Alda Wado, who are part of the first all-women team from Africa who are scheduled to climb Mount Everest in 2020. The whole team is made up of four ladies.